Hi, I'm Stu from HiveMind Automation and welcome to The Hive. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at joining my Home Assistant thread network into my existing thread networks that already exist in the home. Now, I've already tested this out in my production instance of Home Assistant, so fingers crossed this all works on my demo instance of Home Assistant as well. We're going to go through enabling the thread radio on my Home Assistant Connect ZBT1, formerly known as Sky Connect for multi-protocol, uh, so that it can bo do both ZigBee and thread communication. And then we're going to go through ensuring that the thread radio is bound into the same thread network as the other devices in my home. So while I roll the intro, why don't you take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos each week. And while you're at it, if you like what I do here and you want to support the channel, there's affiliate links to smart home gadgets that you can buy for your own smart home without it costing you any extra and support the channel at the same time, or you can support the channel directly through my buy me a coffee link. Of course, those affiliate links and my buy me a coffee link can all be found on my website, hivemindautomation.com.au. With all of that out of the way, let's get started. So when we were looking at the uh, NanoLeaf downlights, uh, these here, I went off on a bit of a tangent about the thread networks and how at the time I had three of them in my house. Now, while I was tooling around there, I think I found a mechanism for me to be able to join my Home Assistant Yellow with thread radio uh, to one of the existing thread networks. And with a tiny amount of research, I found some details on the Home Assistant pages of how I can join one of my existing networks. And it's actually surprisingly easy. However, it does rely on the Home Assistant companion app on your phone as well. Now, as I mentioned at the top, I've already done this in my production server. And while I was at it, I ended up resetting my Google Nest Hub and set it back up again. And this time it became a thread border router on my main thread network, which was very pleasing. I've not yet managed to get the lounge room Apple TV bound to the same thread network, but I'll look into that later. I'm not too worried about it just yet. So to connect our thread networks in Home Assistant, we're going to need some things. We're going to need a device with a thread capable radio, such as the Home Assistant Yellow or the Home Assistant Connect CBT1, which we went through setting up in a previous video, or another compatible radio. And uh, there's a list on the Home Assistant website of compatible thread radio devices. Uh, we also need a third party thread network listed. And if we're working with a Google thread network, we're gonna need an Android phone. Or if we're working with an Apple thread network, we're going to need an iPhone. We'll need to do some pre-work before we can start combining our thread networks as well. Now for me, on my production server, I'm using my Home Assistant Yellow, which has a built-in Zigbee and thread radio from Silicon Labs. And on my demo server, I'm making use of my Home Assistant Connect ZBT1 USB stick, which also has a Silicon Labs Zigbee and Thread radio. We're going to be completing this setup on my demo server with the Home Assistant Connect ZBT1. And this should actually end up working out pretty well because the demo server is in the garage and these matter over thread downlights that I want to install them under the eaves at the front of the garage. Uh, so that should mean that we have really good thread coverage in that corner of the house, which I'm looking forward to. Now, by default, the thread radio in the Home Assistant Connect ZBT1 is not enabled. Uh, when you first connect it up, you get to choose either thread or Zigbee, uh, but I actually want multi-protocol. To do that, I'm going to need to install a couple of add-ons from the add-on store. So over here in Home Assistant, I'm going to go to settings and then go to add-on. And you'll see we've already got a matter server here that should be there by default. But I'm gonna click on add-on store in the bottom right hand corner. And in here, the first thing I'm looking for is the Silicon Labs multi-protocol add-on. And I'll click on that and install it. And this allows me to use Zigbee and OpenThread protocols simultaneously on a single Silicon Labs based radio. We can look at the documentation here and it tells us here as well, uh, to use it with Zigbee ZHA, we need to configure the integration 
as follows. So we need to remember or copy the host name of the add-on, um, which will be this here, and uh, add the Zigbee Home Automation Integration into Home Assistant Core. And when asked for the serial device path, we can choose enter manually and uh, choose AZSP as the radio. And for the serial path, we need to enter the socket and the host name from above. Okay, so that's now installed and we've got start on boot and we'll turn on watchdog and auto update. If I go to configuration, we want to choose our device in here and we need to select the Nabucast Sky Connect here. And uh, we've got hardware flow control is fine. Automatically flash firmware is fine. We'll leave coprocessor communication tracing off and enable thread border router. That's going to enable the thread border router agent as well. I'll leave that on OTBR firewall and we've got some network settings in here as well uh, where we can uh, set up the open thread web port if we want uh, and change the ports on the host for the Ember Znet ash port or the open thread rest API port. It seems like with this, we might not actually need the open thread border outer add-on installed because it seems like it might actually already be part of the multi-protocol add-on here. And another Casa Sky Connect will save that setting and we've saved the network settings. We'll go back to info and we'll click on start. So it's uh, currently flashing the firmware on that, it seems. We'll just refresh that page. Uh, the logs seem to have stopped moving. I'm gonna go to, to devices and services now. And we see we've got Open Thread Border Router showing up there and Home Assistant Sky Connects Silicon Labs Multi Protocol. And so that tells me that the Open Thread Border Router is configured. And if I go into my thread in here and then go to configure, we see we've got this HA Thread 630C, which is a Silicon Labs Multi Protocol. And this is Home Assistant dash two dot local which is for my demo instance of Home Assistant. Uh, and then we've got uh, my home 112985 one nine seven four and then we've got home assistant dot local my silicon labs multi protocol in there a google nest hub the bedroom dot local border router and the dining room dot local border router as well and then my home 18 which is just the lounge room dot local border router so we've got three networks again so what we're going to need to do now is switch over to my iphone and we're on the demo instance of home assistant here and i can open up the menu and go to settings we'll go to devices and services in here and i'll scroll through and I'm looking for thread and I'll tap configure here. So we've got those three thread networks listed here. And you'll note that the Silicon Labs multi-protocol for Home Assistant to local, we can either make it the preferred network or send the credentials to the phone. Uh, or in that drop down, we've got reset the border router, change the channel or add to preferred network. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap this send credentials to Home Assistant because my iPhone has the thread credentials for my home 112985 So I'll tap send credentials to Home Assistant and Home Assistant would like to access your home network we'll tap allow we've got a tick there and so now if i refresh this page we should now see next to my home we've got this i info button here we've got the name we've got the channel uh, and the pan id etc but we've also got this make preferred network so we can tap make preferred network on that and that is now the preferred Bird network in Home Assistant or Thread Network. And then for HA Thread 630C, if I tap the three dot stack next to Silicon Labs Multi Protocol, we can tap Add to Preferred Network here. There's Reconfigure Border Router. Home Assistant will join an existing thread network. Any devices that are currently joined on this Home Assistant thread network will need to be rejoined. I'll tap OK on that. Can't connect to network on channel 25 because ZHA is using channel. 15. I'm going to tap OK there, and what I'm going to need to do is fix that. So the multi protocol is not playing nicely at all. I'm going to go to Home Assistant Sky Connect Configure. I'm going to configure it with thread. Uh, it is going to flash purely the thread, and I think we're going to need to remove the multi protocol add on. So uh, unsupported product mate. So I'm going to go back to add ons multi-protocol i'm going to stop the multi-protocol add-on and uninstall it and back in settings i'll go to add-ons and add-on store and i'm going to install the open thread border router we'll hit install okay, so we've got our home assistant open thread border router add-on i'll turn on watchdog and auto update i'll go to configuration we'll select our nabucasa sky connect i'll turn on automatically flash firmware which should flash the 
thread only firmware over the top of what we already have there. And it will show some disabled ports. And I want to turn on the 8080 port um, to expose the uh, open thread of web. Uh, so I'll save and save 8080 there. Save that. Uh, we'll just check for unused optional configurations NAT64. Um, that's uh, IPv4 network address translation and allows thread devices to communicate with devices on the internet. I don't want to do that right now, uh, but everything there should be fine. We'll head back to our info page, click start, and hopefully we have our core open thread border router. Our CPU usage is there. So that is looking like it's doing things. So it did the flashing. Seems to have only the thread network there. So now if I refresh this page over on my phone here, got our open thread border router, Home Assistant 2 local has joined the preferred network. And that's what we want it. That's on the laptop. If we go into thread and go to configure, we see we've got my home 112-985-1974. Uh, Home Assistant Local and Home Assistant 2 Local, which is this device. And it's the open thread border router that we uh, configured in our add-ons here. So the Silicon Labs multi-protocol, that's my production instance as a Home Assistant. And the open thread border router is the demo instance of Home Assistant. So I think what I'm going to do in the long run, I'll put the Nortec Hus BZB, Zigbee and Z-Wave stick back into the demo server so that I can have Thread and Zigbee on the demo server using two separate radios. And that open thread border router just on the Home Assistant Sky Connect should be quite reliable as well because it's doing just the one thing. And so now with that uh, Silicon Labs multi-protocol and the open thread border router that we can see here in the preferred network, we've got five border routers. So this should be a really robust network by the time we're done. If on my phone, I go over to my NanoLeaf app uh, and I'll just open up the NanoLeaf app. Uh, and uh, I'm already in my more menu here and I'm going to tap on thread network and uh, we'll give it a second to update. Just refresh that. There we go. That's better. Uh, so we've got my home 112-985-1974 and we've got Ben's office, we've got a mesh extender, which is a light strip there. We've got the laundry light, which is a mesh extender. Um, but in external border routers, we've got an Apple border router, a Google Nest border router, a Home Assistant border router. For whatever reason, it's not. Has it finished updating? Oh, no. Refresh that one more time. There we go. So it took a little while to update, but we've got an Apple border router, a dining room uh, Apple border router, the Google Nest and the Home Assistant and the Home Assistant. So we've got two Home Assistant external border routers showing up in my NanoLeaf thread network. So that's actually quite good uh, because again, that's going to make that thread network really quite robust. Any one of those border routers could theoretically completely fall off the network and uh, we, we shouldn't lose uh, control authority over any of the other thread connected devices in the house. So that's joining Home Assistant to the existing thread networks. Now it was a little bit involved and we actually had to do some troubleshooting there because using multi-protocol on the Home Assistant Connect ZBT1 or Sky Connect didn't seem to want to play nicely. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. I might need to tool around with that a little bit more, but I do have multi-protocol working perfectly fine on my Home Assistant Yellow. So I'm not too fussed about having multi-protocol on the demo server, um, I can just add the Nortec stick back into the demo server anyway and have Zigbee and Z-Wave control because uh, this Nortec stick does Z-Wave as well. So with those thread networks set up, we'll be able to add thread and matter over thread devices into Home Assistant and then we can use Home Assistant to set up automations for those thread and matter over thread devices. In a future video, I'm going to take a look at adding my matter over thread devices into Home Assistant. And we might even have an opportunity to test out the multi-admin function of matter as well there. I have already managed to set up one of the NanoLeaf matter over thread light bulbs in my production Home Assistant. And my plan is to then use a Zigbee button like this one to toggle the matter over thread light bulb on and off so that I can uh, have a 
simple button to turn that light on and off, which has been a bit of a pain point because that particular light bulb's in the laundry and we don't have a motion sensor in the laundry to turn the light on and off. So uh, by setting up a button, we should be able to solve that problem. I do also have these Chuo Matter Over Thread buttons, which I might try again. I've not had great luck with them. They seem to go offline uh, and go into a low power mode where they just don't seem to uh, wake up, don't really respond particularly well, but we'll uh, solve that problem later. Now I do still need to get a Sparky in to install the Nanoleaf downlights under the eaves in front of the garage. But when I do sort that out, I'll be able to get these added into Perma Assistant as well, and then uh, trigger them to turn on with the motion and person detection from the driveway camera that we pointed out in the review video about those. If you haven't seen that video, I'll uh, put a card up here for you. I've also got a handful of matter accessories that I'll be reviewing over the next few weeks as well. Some of them are matter over thread and others are matter over Wi-Fi. As always, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on thread connectivity in Home Assistant. That's all we have for this video and I do hope that it's helped you in your home automation journey. Be sure to drop a comment below with a home automation idea you'd like to see me cover in a future video. And don't forget to follow HiveMind Automation on Instagram and Facebook. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below to give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, now's a great time to change that. While you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll start getting notifications when I release new videos, which is normally each week. Lastly, if you enjoy what I do here and you want to help to support the channel, there's a Buy Me A Coffee link in the video description below. Any contribution you make through Buy Me A Coffee does get put towards making more and hopefully better content for you to enjoy. Don't forget to check out my website, hivemindautomation.com.au. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Stu from Hivemind Automation, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.